Hey everyone, welcome back for another Tuesday Tech Tip of 45 Drives. Uh, Bert Kelly here. Today we are going to talk about S3 buckets and how you as a desktop user or server user um, can integrate with your S3 buckets. So I'm going to walk through a couple free and open source tools as well as some cool proprietary ones um, that kind of makes the whole interaction between S3 objects and your local file system seamless. Okay, so uh, I'll start. Uh, I'll start where I feel the most comfortable. As a desktop user, you're, you're sitting in front of your computer, whether that be Linux, Windows, or Mac, and you've got files in an S3 bucket. And well, how do you use them? How do you interact with them? How do you pull them down? So uh, let's start. Linux. Linux has quite a few tools. It has something called S3 command. Um, it has AWS's tool will interface with just about any W uh, any S3 uh, tool, as well as a um, um, a package called S3FS, which what that does is it mounts your S3 bucket as a local um, file system on your Linux computer, which can be really good. Of course, there's limitations to that. Objects and file systems are very different things, but um, it's a very easy and um, smooth way to integrate uh, a Linux desktop in with your um, S3 bucket. Uh, Mac users, uh, you Mac users, you love aesthetics. Uh, there's quite a few uh, tools available as well. One free great tool, Cyberduck, uh, looks great. <laughs> um, and functions as a little uh, third party window that has sync capabilities, um, read, write, uh, and numerous other features um, that's available to Mac users. Windows as well. And um, hopping over to Windows, uh, S3 browser. Um, while not the prettiest UI, is an incredibly rich featured program, uh, automatic sync, uh, version control, all kinds of great things you can view and, and interact with your S3 buckets. Okay, so that's the desktop. Uh, that's how you can access from your desktop or as a pure user um, experience. Uh, moving more into kind of a server, say you have one of our, our Stornator products, you're running FreeNAS, you're running CentOS, any Linux operating or BSD operating system on it and uh, you want to back your data up to a cloud, or you just want to keep it synced there so you can do collaboration with other people around the world, whatever you want to do. Um, there are, uh, FreeNAS is uh, built in natively to sync into S3 buckets, as well as other cloud services, but uh, S3 is what we're talking about here. Uh, CentOS, uh, we've got native tools to do that as well. And um, yeah, so in included in any of your uh, Storenator configuration packages, uh, we can sync your, your local file system data into an S3 bucket. And let's not forget everyone's favorite free co yeah, collaboration Dropbox alternative tool, Nextcloud. Nextcloud has great seamless interaction with S3 buckets, whether that's Ceph, whether that's Amazon, or a number of other cloud services as well. Um, so uh, many, many different ways to interface with your S3 buckets and your local on-site storage. Okay, so those are some widely available uh, free tools, whether you're a desktop user or you're a server uh, for your server products. We'll put some uh, links in the description below so if you guys want to check some of those out. Um, and I'd be completely remiss not to mention uh, some of the proprietary, pro propri I can never say proprietary, well, I'm an open source guy. Um, uh, proprietary tools by other vendors and what they're doing is really taking uh, that basic access and, and really uh, expanding on it. One in particular, Tiger Technology, and they're one of their products in particular, um, I said particular a lot, uh, Tiger Bridge. And what Tiger Bridge does is it takes a Windows NTFS file system and it kind of like tapes an S3 bucket to it. So as far as the local application is concerned, uh, your folder could be as big as your bucket, tens of twenties of terabytes is bigger and bigger and bigger. And what it does is just automatically moves data back and forth very seamlessly. Um, this is great for uh, uh, people who want to use uh, NVRs and back up seamlessly into uh, NVR, sorry, like security, uh, security recording software um, and back up into an S3 bucket or, or anyone who's just got a little bit of local storage that needs to get it off there in a nice way. Tiger Bridge makes this thing really seamless and we've, uh, we've really had a good time working with them and their team uh, here at 45 Drives. Okay, so there's a bit of an outlook on some of the uh, different tools you can use to interface with your S3 buckets, whether it's your desktop, whether it's your server, or uh, anywhere in between with some of the cool proprietary technology like Tiger Bridge. 
Um, as a, like I said earlier, we'll leave um, some links in the description of, of the ones you can go to. Definitely be sure to check out Tiger Technology. They've got some cool stuff. And uh, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And I guess it's time for the fun fact. Uh, my go-to is usually just to explain the acronyms, but I'm pretty sure I told you what S3 was already. Simple storage service. So, um, I don't know, Chris. Uh, oh yeah, we're going to LTX. 45 Drives will be at LTX uh, this summer, uh, August 8th and 9th. Uh, I'll be there, a couple other people from the team, and uh, I'm excited to go, so hopefully we'll see some of you guys there. Yeah, so thanks for watching. See you next week.